Now we're going to announce the results of the most beautiful object in South Africa competition. The first one was the Hapa Museum, which is part of Freedom Park in Pretoria. Then the Bird Necklace by Eric Loebscher. And then a rather unusual nomination, a console solo jar. And then the frail flower paper sculpture by Rebecca Jones. And then a very impressive piece of fashion, the fish scale dress by Suzanne Haynes. And then the Curious Couch, which was a joint piece by Margaret Vermann from Hardworks and Peter Becker. The Ridge Forester Hanging Planters by Joe Payne. And then the Lily Pad Ring by Kirsten Goss. And then an interesting piece, an artwork called The Travel Journal, Volume 1 and 2 by Monet Vasaki. And the Pace Mural by a street artist called Lindsay Levendahl. The winner is Kirsten Goss's Lily Pad Ring. Nominated by Jacques Shamali Mabe from BC. It is just so incredible to have uh, won this uh, most beautiful object in South Africa 2012 award. I think uh, my heart is about to burst out of my chest. Um, and I'm sure that all our supporters and our staff are going to be feeling exactly the same. It actually just all feels a little kind of weird at the moment. I think I'm going to need a good couple of dangerous things to calm me down. I've never actually been to the Design and Java, I'm ashamed to admit. I think just with all the craziness of stuff that goes on on the other side of the world, I haven't managed. I can tell you right now, this means the world to our goldsmiths. They are going to freak out. It is beyond. Thank you so much. It's uh, called the lily pad ring because of the beautiful praseolite or green amethyst. It's a Brazilian stone. And it's set in gold and silver. And it's just really meant to represent the very organic kind of lines of natural water and just the whole kind of, I suppose, the serenity of the South African surrounds. You know, I've just come back from London sort of fairly recently and I think just being back in that kind of organic environment has just been quite inspirational for a few of the collections. You know, you get inspired by things that aren't necessarily in your field and I think this is sort of encapsulates the brilliant talent within South Africa that it's sort of a one-stop shop to be able to come and be completely intrigued. It's a very positive thing for South Africa to have such a beautiful platform like this.